Well, there were hundreds of military members from Montana who played a part in the Allied invasion of Normandy, some who never came home again. The success in turning the tide in World War II coming with great sacrifice. Tonight, we hear the story of one paratrooper from Laurel who lost his life during the invasion, but not before saving the lives of other American soldiers. And then one day I didn't have nothing to do and I dug it out and started going through it all and was pretty amazed. It was about five years ago that Dan Couts first took a good look inside an envelope that his father had passed on to him and it took him straight back to 1944. And of course, that was a time period where you didn't talk about it. The papers inside, including the dreaded Western Union telegram, alerting the family that Couts' uncle, Private Henry Couts of Laurel, had been killed in action in France. Couts was one of thousands of 101st Airborne paratroopers who landed in Normandy on D-Day. The family didn't find out about his death until a month after it happened and didn't learn the details until that fall when they received a letter from the private's commanding officer. He parachuted in on D-Day and uh, their plane was off track a little bit, so of course when they parachuted in, they were off track. The group spent three days trying to fight their way back to the rest of their unit, taking some German prisoners in the process when they again came under fire. And my uncle was trying to use them as a shield to get the other men by, and it did work, it got the other men by, but then my uncle was killed. The letter goes on to say that Private Couts died a soldier's death and that his company would always honor his memory. Of course, he received a Purple Heart because anybody wounded or passing away receives that. The one thing that I thought he should have had was at least a, a Bronze Star or more because of the, what he'd done. He saved these other guys, risking his life, you know, and got them through. Private Henry Couts, just one of the many unsung American heroes who gave their all when the fate of the world hung in the balance. And Henry never came home. He's buried there in France with so many others. Our coverage of the 75th anniversary of D-Day continues tomorrow here on Q2 with more Montana ties to that invasion that changed the course of history. Tomorrow night at 10, we're going to introduce you to Bud LeCount. He's a Billings man who did make it home from Normandy to tell his story. And it truly is an amazing one. That's coming up tomorrow night at 10. And CBS will cover the ceremonies from Normandy early tomorrow morning. You can watch that live beginning at 3 a.m right here on Q2.